Okay, the TURD um, is a variation of a pattern that was given to me by um, Craig Steffens, a manager at T. Hargos Fly Fishing. Um, it's a pattern that was developed to fish for the sow, you, to imitate the sow bugs and scuds in the Little Red River. Uh, while fishing uh, the Little Red with um, guide George Barn out of Ozark Anglers, um, we used one of his favorite flies, which was the Barnes Hairy Leg Sow Bug, aka the Shitty Fly. We thought the name was elegant, so we uh, decided to call our fly, which has half the hackle um, of his fly, uh, we decided to call it the turd. It's a fly that we found to be very effective anywhere there's sow bugs or scuds in the water. Um, we fish it in 16s and 18s. Um, tie up a few, I think you'll find that they're very effective. Okay, let's tie the TURD. In the vise, I have a hook from the Allen Hook Company. It's a D102BL. On the hook, I've already placed a tungsten bead, size 332nd. It's natural in color. For thread, I'm going to use a Euro thread. Um, this is 12 odd. Uh, it's in color is in gray. Uh, you can use anything um, 6 odd or smaller. I'm going to start the thread um, on the shank at a point or a place right above the point. Then I'll wrap back to the bend. And just slightly down the bend. <coughs> For the tail, I'm going to use a feather that I've taken from a Hungarian partridge skin. Grab a nice clump. Make sure the ends are even. And I'm going to make this about the length of the shank. Make a soft wrap and then a tight wrap over the top. And we'll pull it just a tad bit to size. And then we'll continue securing it to the shank down to the point. Okay, for the shell of the fly, I'm going to be using some thin skin. Um, this is clear. I'm going to take the um, thin skin and one side I'm going to clip an arrow or a point. This will help me capture the material. I'm going to put it right on top of the shank. And we'll capture it in place. Okay. Okay, for the ribbing, I'm going to use some wire. I'm going to use extra small black ultra wire. Okay, for the body of the fly, I'm going to use some Australian possum. I'm going to use a mixture of Australian possum and a sow bug. This happens to be a Metz. Um, any good sow bug mix will work. We're going to use 50 50. I'm going to have it mixed well together. The Australian possum is soft, dubs well. Uh, the sow bug will give it a little bit of a sparkle. A little bit more of a shaggy look. OK, 
Okay, we'll build our body. We'll go up to about a point again and that's where we'll stop our body. <clears throat> okay, at this point I'm going to tie on some red rabbit. This becomes a hot spot or an egg sack, whichever one you prefer. And we're not going to tie it too much forward. We want to make sure we have plenty of room there in front of our hook, our material. And we'll go back and size it a little bit. We want to make sure we've got some shank there to work with. <clears throat> okay. We'll look finish. And we'll cut our thread, push our bead back, and we're going to start our thread again then in front of the bead. And we'll bring our shell casing over, tie it off in front of the bead. Okay, then we'll bring our, our ribbing forward. Okay, we're going to make, we'll get right next to our bead. We're going to make sure our wrap is right behind the bead. And then we're going to bring it up. And over. And we'll secure it. At this point, we'll clip off our wire, cut off our shell cover. And secure the shell cover and the wire. Okay, we're ready to put on <coughs> our legs. To do that, we're going to use a Hungarian partridge skin. Of 
We'll select a feather from the skin. Peel the fuzz off of the bottom. And then we're going to cut a notch or a V in the feather by kind of removing the stem. And that will give us something like this. Okay, we'll even up the hackles at the bottom. <coughs> and we're going to turn our vise upside down. And we're going to secure this leg right in front of the bead with about three soft wraps that allow us then to pull our legs forward to size and once we get them there then we'll put in some secure wraps some tight wraps And adjust them just a little bit with our fingers. Okay. Here we're going to form our head. And we'll whip finish. Flip our thread. Apply a dab of head cement. And we have the turret. Let's trim up a little bit of the 